Shalom, shalom. Warmest greetings to all of you there in Hong Kong and in Macau. Every time we come there, every time we come to Hong Kong, we go to Macau. And uh, unfortunately, at this time, we could not could not uh, come personally, physically. But we praise God for this uh, opportunity to uh, minister to you, even online. And uh, in behalf of my family, the family of God here, uh, the work of the Lord here in the UK, Europe, Middle East, Africa, we greet you all happy anniversary. May the Lord bless you, even as we feast in the Lord's presence. We give special thanks to our, to our bishop for giving us the privilege. Our bishop, Mother Adeline, Pastor Rachel, and Pastor Evelyn, our overseer there now. Uh, it's been reminding me and giving me the uh, privilege. Thank you, Pastor Evelyn, and all of you pastors there, Pastor uh, Dominga, Pastor Sonia, Pastor Verna, Pastor Glenda, all of you pastors there, both in the whole Hong Kong, Macau, and uh, China. We thank you. We, it's been a great encouragement every time I come there. It's not only that we are uh, we are encouraged because we see the way you serve the Lord. It is at this time that all the more we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, happy anniversary to everyone. Kong Hei Fat Choi. I have been given the topic to discuss to you about uh, preparation, preparing for the rapture. And I praise God because uh, even as I am uh, preparing for this and reading this, uh, it is ministering to me and I pray that it will minister to you too because this is what we are preparing for even right now. Thank you, Pastora Vilma, for texting me and uh, giving me the topic. Thank you for this opportunity. Hallelujah. I know that uh, the bishop is there for with you and with all the overseers, Pastor Harold. Everyone else, let's enjoy serving the Lord. Hallelujah. Preparing for the rapture. This is our, this is what we are working today. That's why we are serving the Lord. This is the very reason why we are here. If it is not for this purpose, then we could be anywhere. So it is our only escape from the great tribulation if we don't want to suffer. But suffering is everywhere today. But the great suffering is coming right now we are being tested and uh, in every word especially this pandemic it's very hard to travel if it is not for this then i would be we would be together there hallelujah so what is a uh, rapture by the way this the bishop has been uh, shouting the message like a trumpeter shouting the message many years from now and this message is not new it is the same but uh, for uh, support and for let us shout it and let's remind each other because jesus is coming indeed very very soon even right now even we don't know hallelujah 
so preparation for the rupture and I believe what is what we are doing today is part of it hallelujah what is rupture according to Jesus in Matthew chapter 24 verse 20 when he said to his disciples after telling all the end times the signs of the end times Matthew chapter 24 he said pray that your flight will not take place in the winter or on Sabbath for then there will be great tribulation great distress unequaled from the beginning of the world until now and never to be equaled again so he's talking about two things there he's talking about a flight so the rupture is, is a flight this flight we don't need a plane we don't need an to go to the airport but it can happen at any time anywhere wherever you are so this is the rupture the flight according to Jesus because after the flight according to him for then there will be great distress which means it is he's talking about the great tribulation unequaled from the beginning of the world until now and never to be equaled again no wonder where uh, we are uh, experiencing things today that never happened before and things in the worst are yet to come with regards to this second thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 to 18 is talking about the resurrection of the dead in christ he specifically described and he said those who died in christ will rise first from the dead and we who are still alive will be caught up with them in the cloud to meet the lord in the air so we will be with the Lord forever. And it says in verse 18, so encourage each other with these words. And that is why we are encouraging each other to keep on serving, but no matter what it takes. I am so encouraged with all your schedules there, conventions, after conventions until January and we praise God hallelujah so in 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verse 50 until 58 Apostle Paul talking about the rapture and he described it as a mystery a mystery is something that has no ex detailed explanation not even the scientist can explain how it will happen because according to that he said i tell you the truth flat flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable listen i tell you a mystery we will all be changed those who are faithful those who are unfaithful will not be changed because this is the time when the chaff and the grain are to be separated god is a just god he does not treat the unfaithful and the faithful the same otherwise noah wouldn't be wouldn't have entered the ark he would have perished with all the people but the difference with noah is being faithful he was kept in the ark and so in this coming rupture is the separation of the faithful and the unfaithful. It is 
the separation of the sheep and the goat. The faithful will be caught up, will fly. How? Oh, it says here in the scripture, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. Oh, a pagdarikma, a pagkanito, in, the, in a twinkling of an eye. It's very quick. You cannot even go anywhere. And when it happens, it, uh, it just happens. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, oh, hallelujah, in the twinkling of an eye. And the last time, I remember when the bishop is here with me, we're going around Europe, driving here in the UK, Sometimes, I remember the time when I nagpapalpitit yung puso niya. I was driving and uh, I was praying, Lord, don't take our bishop yet. Ang gusto ko, magkasabay na lang kami dito sa rapture. Sabay tayo. It's good to be together, flying together. Hallelujah. And now, the number, the examples of this, an example in the Bible who did not taste uh, death, uh, number one is Enoch. Enoch, in Genesis chapter 5, verse 24, God took him and he, he is no more because God took him because he walked with God, was faithful. Elijah, Elijah is one. You can see this in Second Kings chapter 2, verse 11, when the chariot of fire came and took Elijah off. He did not taste this. Can you imagine how faithful they are to the Lord? They are exempted, exempted with all these sufferings. Oh, and God is just showing us today that uh, it can happen to us if we are faithful. I remember going to heaven is to be exempted with all the sufferings uh, and everything that is happening in this earth is uh, the best consolation we have. And no one can exchange it. Walang, wala pong uh, makakapag uh, compare. And uh, I was just imagining what will happen to uh, dito sa, sa airport people. When these things happen, you cannot go anywhere. I was driving here on the motorway. If just one car will have an accident, motorway is closed. You cannot go anywhere. Magkabang-kabangahan mga sasakyan. The train will collide. If someone is cooking and he left the fire, masusunog ang bahay. People are complaining and shouting and fighting in the airport and everywhere in the marketplace. Everywhere. Kung, may, kung unfaithful ka, Kasabay mo ang may anak. Imaginin mo, lima sila, may anak katabi mo. And the rapture will come. According to the Bible, the babies are innocent, they will fly. Mararapture po ang mga bata na yan. Now, what would this, itong mga nanay, ano ang sasabihin nila? Ikaw lang ang nandyan, nakasama nila. Bakit nawala ang mga bata? Ikaw lang ang nandyan. Ayan, pagbibintangan ka niyan. And they will always blame anybody. This rupture. Because the faithful will fly. fly. Yung mga maiiwan talaga ang magsasuffer. Jesus also, Jesus also is one. After he 
of course, he rose up from the dead. He stayed with the disciples. Even though na ano, parang may example na natin na makita natin ng isang si Jesus when he was telling the great commission, the very last moment. You can see that Luke chapter 24 verse 50 to 51, Acts chapter 1 verse 9 was telling it to the disciples and then he was hidden on the cloud. Biglang nawala. Raptured. Ganon din. May parang at least meron tayong example na makita sa Bible na someone disappeared. Hidden in the cloud. And that will happen on rapture. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 to 3. He talks about the thief in the night. Now brothers, about the times and dates we do not need to write to you. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Parang magnanakaw yan. Nobody knows. For you know very well the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly. Even if you go back to Matthew chapter 24, no one knows about the day and hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the sun but the Father, as it was in the days of Noah. So it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Now, you might have heard of many scriptures like this, but uh, let's talk about the preparation now. Preparation now is, uh, I would say, it is like going abroad. Para maging practical tayo, ha? Hindi yung preparing for the rapture ay wala ka nang gagawin. Ola, sige, maghintay ka na lang dyan. Magbukmok ka sa bahay mo. And you will do nothing. You do not go out. No, that's not it. You have to work. You have to do your best to serve the Lord. Okay, let's say Just preparing. Uh, preparing to go abroad. Tingnan natin itong mag, mga mag-abroad. Ang mga mag-abroad, they even sell their talon. They even sell their field. And they will spend nakakatakot na it, mga pera. Isan la nilang bukid nila. Just to go abroad. How? That is how to prepare. So, going abroad, there you have requirements to meet. Birth certificate, voters, affidavit. What are these? Identity. Kailangan na iprove mo ang identity mo. At saka, wala kang kaso. <laughs> Kasi pag may kaso ka, hindi ka makakalipad. Kaya, the same thing to have. May kaso ka dito. You no, know, no one can cheat God. He is the greatest judge. Kaya kung may kaso ka, isolve mo na ngayon sa Panginoon by forgiveness at magpakatino na at magbago na talaga. Kasi guarantee, pag may kaso ka dito, may problema ka sa hindi mo na-resolve, you did not repent, na? hindi mo na-clearan, di ka mabibigyan ng barangay clearance, police clearance, NBI clearance. Eh kung dito sa mundo, kailangan ng clearance. Sa langit pa kaya? So we need clearance. So dito, may, they will ask marriage certificate. O yan. Ano ang status mo? Right? Etc. Marami. And then the visa application. Hindi ka naman talaga makaka-abroad kung hindi ka mag-apply ng visa. Punta ka sa embassy, mag-apply ka ng visa. Ang, ang katumbas no, punta ka sa church. Do all you can to go to the church. Kung interesado kang 
mag-abroad sa langit, sa ang embassy ng heaven? Doon sa church. If you don't go to the embassy, you will never have visa. Ayan. Eh, kahit pa nga yung mga pumupunta sa embassy, madidinay ang visa, hindi mabigyan ng visa. Kaya sabi, maganda itong uh, free believers verse na binigay ng Panginoon. Kay Bishop na we always uh, we always quote today Matthew 7:21 says not everyone who says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only he who does the will of God who is in heaven. Yung mga mag apply ng visa palagi sila sa embassy of heaven. Eh paano yan kung hindi ka interesadong pumunta sa church? The church is the embassy of heaven. It is where the altar of God is. It is where we worship and meet God. That is the part, eh, alam mo ang embassy, maunda ka sa embassy dito sa London. If you go to embassy of London, pagpasok mo sa uh, compound ng embassy, you are not in London. You are in the Philippines. Because that is part of the Philippines here in London. By law. Now, if you go to the presence of God, you go to church and worship the Lord, you be lost in the presence when the presence of God comes down. Hallelujah. You are not in this world. You are out of this world. You are in heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, I remember the bishop says uh, when he is preaching, I remember before, you know, nakakamis kayo talaga dyan. He said, we are in heaven. You know, in heaven there is no time. Kaya pagpupunta ka sa church, huwag mong tinitingnan palagi ang oras mo. Because you are in heaven. <laughs> you are in the embassy of heaven. Eh kung interesado ka talagang pumunta sa heaven, eh hindi. Eh, huwag kang magmadaling aalis. Okay? Hallelujah. Now, what do we expect? Now, we have to know kung ano ang tatanungin sa immigration sa langit. And that is what we prepare. You know, if you are preparing for an exam, you have to know kung ano ang tatanungin sa exam. Ganun din. What are we preparing for? We alamin natin kung anong tatanungin sa atin pagdating natin sa immigration ng langit. And these are the, thing, the requirements of the rapture. Okay, now, the judgment seat of Christ. Matthew 25 has been elaborated by our bishop for many years now. Number one, natatanungin yan sa Matthew 25. The whole chapter, you should read that. Okay, the number one, Tatanungin sa atin, visa. The parable of the ten virgins. The foolish didn't have oil. The wise men, the wise virgins, uh, have extra oil. He talks about anointing. He talks about the Holy Spirit. What is that? It is the seal of ownership. Kahit may passport ka kung wala kang visa, yan, natatak na sa isip ko yan at sa puso ko pa ang pinipreach ni Bishop. Kahit na may passport ka kung wala kang visa, oh, who is your visa? I remember when I went to Sweden, I didn't realize I have a one entry visa for, for Schengen visa. After coming from Portugal, I went back to London. The next morning, I went back. Kasi yun ang pinakamadaling ticket na makuha ko. So, pinapasok naman ako dito sa Lowton Airport. And then, as soon as I arrived there in Stockholm, Sweden, tinawag ako ng, uh, ng uh, immigration. Sabi niya, come here, come here. Pinapakita sa akin, he was showing me, where can you show me your visa? 
in open naman eh sabi dear no no this is not your visa look it is only the stamp where did you go what happened eh, in explain ko galing ako pumunta ako ng portugal after the anniversary there of our church i i i took my flight to london last night in the early morning i flew here Oh, you cannot enter here because you used already your visa. You went to Portugal and you went out. And so you're not supposed to enter here because your visa is used. You have only a single entry visa. Ayun, malaking kamali ko yun. Hindi ko alam na wawa single entry. They used to give me multi-entry kasi. Ganun pa man. Nag-iisip na ako, sabi ko, nananalangin. Sabi ko, Lord, am I going back? Paano ang anniversary ito sa Sweden? I'm just preparing myself for what has happened, but I'm praying. Please give me a favor. Yung immigration officer, tumayo, munta, tawag-tawag. Matawag sa bus niya. May pumalit na kinakausap ako. Someone is talking to me. Lady, sabi niya. Oh, so, you know, it happens. You neglect things, sabi niya. Trying to appease me siguro para hindi ako magpanik. Mamaya, maya. God gave me favor. Miracle na naman yan dahil. Pumunta yung officer, sabi niya, pumalik. What is your reason in coming here? And I explained, they, uh, I come with the same reason as I came before. I always come here for the anniversary of at the church. I am, I am a pastor. Ko. Okay, my boss says he will consider you coming in. But next time, be careful. Huh? Oh, I was so relieved. Buti pinapasok ako. Pero doon ko naramdaman na how strict the immigration na talagang hindi ka talaga makakapasok kung meron kang kung wala kang visa. Miracle yan. Na naka, I remember the bishop uh, was able to go home. Na, Naka-apply pa yung passport niya sa <laughs> home office dito. Na matay ang nanay niya. Kaya ang rapture is special case talaga. Special. Normally, walang mararapture. Pag sa sitwasyon ng mga tao ngayon, lahat makasalanan. Well, this tape sa impirno talaga. Pero, ang special talaga, that's why the Bible says, only few will find it. Kaya tayo, um, can you count um, ilan ang nakikinig ngayon? Kahit ilang libo tayo. That is, is still few compared to the population of the world. Okay? So, visa. Holy Spirit. Pag ingatan natin ang Holy Spirit because once you lose the Holy Spirit, you will lose your visa. Eh, ang Holy Spirit, hindi naman permanente yan. Kung hindi ka careful, ay talagang magiging unfaithful ka. Look at these backsliders. Look at this. Eh. We have many examples na very faithful sila noon, pero hindi na ngayon. How can you expect them to be ruptured? Eh, buti kung kaya ngayon, habang wala pang rupture, they still have time. Only God can tell the extent ng ano. Pero ito, visa, alagaan natin. Holy Spirit, that is identity, that is our DNA, that is our kwan. Si visa, Proof of funds, alam nyo? 
if you see the scriptures ng ito, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22, He set His seal on us, the seal of ownership. It is a mark of ownership. In Ephesians 1, 13 to 15, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in Him with a seal. The promised Holy Spirit. Oh, namarkan ka. Meron tayong tatak. What is that when we we build our nagkarya, nagkaroon tayo ng relasyon, covenant, nagkaseryoso tayo sa Panginoon. Kaya kailangan magseryoso tayo ngayon sa Panginoon. Like being married to Jesus. He is the bridegroom. We are the bride. Strong relationship. We have a mark, the Holy Spirit. Okay. The next thing that they are, uh, we are going to be asked in the immigration of heaven is the talents, parable of the talents. Mag-accounting tayo dun. What did you do to the things that I have entrusted to you, sabi ng Panginoon. Kaya kung akala mo na ang pera mo, nasa bulsa mo, nasa bangko mo, nasa, what is yours today? Belongs to you only? Kamalian. When you face, when we face the Lord there, everybody will just realize and will become aware na. Everything belongs to God, including our life. Nothing belongs to us. Kaya ang mga attitude natin ngayon na akala mo sa iyo yan, mine, 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 akala mo, yan, personal mo yan, personal mo yan, yan. It is mine, 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 mine. Kung hindi tayo magbago, sa ating mga attitude, sa mga pagka-selfish natin, pagka-kuripot natin, pagka-greedy natin, pagka-idolatry natin, you will not make it. Because ito, lahat ito, not specially material. If you are grip with greed, ay hindi ka papasado. Aka lang hindi, no? Dada. Every cent, every lahat in-interest sa'yo. Maging pera man, bahay man, lupain, sasakyan, ano man, lahat, anything that is interested to you, God will ask it. You read the parable of the talent. He is the property owner. He just interests. We are just tenants. We are just stewards. Okay? Kaya yung mga ta mga nagtuturo, yung mga tao na naniniwala na wala daw kinalaman connection ng giving sa sa salvation. Basahin mo ang tatanungin sa judgment seat of Christ. Ang tatanungin sa langit. Bakit yan? Mag-accounting tayo doon. Kaya kayong mga submarine titers. Kaya mga submarine titers. Mag-tight sila kung naisip nilang mag-tight. Kung hindi, hindi. Paano yan? Do you think papasaka sa, ano, sa immigration ng langit? Tatanungin, what did you do? Bakit submarine titer ka? Hindi ka talaga seryoso. Bakit, why, why are we giving tithes? Is God interested on in your money? Everything is His. He doesn't need your money. But why do we give tithes? If it's not of our relationship with God, why do you care about tithes if kung wala kang relation? Kaya itong mga unbeliever, they don't care about tithes. Pero if you believe in God, you have a relationship to take care, you have a covenant with God to take care, commitment, 
It's evidence. Oh, yeah, let's give what is due to the Lord. The third, natatanungin sa immigration ng langit, kaluluwa. Souls. Souls. Kaluluwa. Oh, ano naman ang nagawa mo sa mga kaluluwa? The kingdom of God is the kingdom of souls being assured. These are the real treasures in heaven. Kaya, God is serious when He is talking about uh, fruit bearing. Pagbubunga. Kung hindi masyado na-emphasize sa inyo, hindi bin maintindihan ang evangelism, ay hindi importante sa iyo, ay tatanungin niya. That's why masisiparate ang mga hindi interesado sa evangelism ngayon. Huh? Optional ang evangelism sa kanila. Pero ang mga tao na talagang they mean business with souls. Kahit gagasto sila, kahit na no, mag-sacrifice sila. And this is what we need to do to prepare. Do everything to win souls. Because pag wala kang bunga, makat off ka eh. You will never make it. John chapter 15. In Tagalog, 15. John chapter 15. Yeah. Especially in verse 2. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. Eh, paano ka mara-rapture niya? He will ask, oh, this is the separation between the sheep and the goat. Matthew 25. Come. Welcome, you faithful servant, and share my master's happiness. Oh, for I was hungry, you have given me. I was hungry. This is talking about evangelism. I was hungry, you have given me food. Thirsty, giving me drink. Sick, you came to pray for me. In prison, you came to visit me. He shared the gospel to me in prison. Kaya ito ay salut, ay salut to yung ginagawa ko. This time, God, I am so blessed of what God is doing. Binubuksan niya daming bilangguan ngayon sa Pilipinas for evangelism. Hallelujah. Souls po ang tatanungin. Kaya, bigyan natin ng importansya yan. Kahit mahirap dito sa amin, mahirap mag-evangelize, pero walang mahirap sa Diyos. Sige pa rin. Kung saan mataas ang mga pride ng mga tao, doon mahirap mag-evangelize. Kaya, maganda dyan. Kasi, umarewak-wak dito tao. Dito sa amin, para kang nasa dagat, hinahabulon mo yung kay sa isang fish. <laughs> Sabi ni Sister SP noon dito, ang pumunta dito. Nyamat dito eh. Kasla ka nga, parang, kasla ka nga, dajibaybay nga, kam, kam, kamatam iti, nagmaymay sa may sangay fish. <laughs> Hallelujah. But there, I, you know, I was uh, assigned you know, when I was there in Baguio. Ay, napakaraming tao. Kaya't mga evangelist, that's why paborito kong pumupunta sa ospital. You know, doon dyan sa BGH. Oh, I could not uh, forget. Yung guardia sa the guards, they are in shift. In BGH, sa harap at sa likod, kilala kami ng mga gwardiya. Oh, one time we were waiting on the visiting hour. Nakita kami ng gwardiya. Sabi ng gwardiya, Pastor! 
Meron ba kayong ipagpipray ngayon? Sabi niya. Yes, sir. Halika na kayo. Pasok na. Pinapasok kami. Tingin ng mga tao. Ayan. Ah, Ang ganda pala ng feeling. Pag ma-exempted ma ka sa mga tao na nag-inay, ikaw lang papapasokin. Dahil kilala ka. Oh, eh kung ganun ang feeling sa papasok sa ospital dahil kilala ka ng guard, langit pa kaya? That is, kaya hindi natin may spelling ang saya natin pag uh, marapture tayo. So that's how it is to, ito, itong tatlo na to, i-focus natin lang dito. Focus natin dito, Holy Spirit, material things. Kaya itong mga problema kaya natin, kayong mga hindi nag-iisip, hindi ninyo pinapansin ang needs ng church. Pansilin naman ninyo ang mga pastor ninyo kung pumuputi na ang buhok nila. Problema do kung ano ang gastusin sa yan, church building, unfinished church building, uh, upa, kung umuupa pa kayo, kung ano. Tapos ikaw nang dyan, wala kang pakialam. Tulong ka naman. Doon natin kagamitin man material things. Para pag magtanong si ang Panginoon sa langit, ah, meron tayo. Ay, at least nag-pledge ako. Meron akong contribution. Nag-sacrificial giving ako. Ganun yan. Tapos, yan. Be, uh, invest on souls. Talagang, ganap tayo ng kaluluwa. Dublihin natin ang effort natin dito ngayon. Hallelujah. Yun. Amen. Paano natin gawin ang mga ito? para victorious tayo sa ating pag-prepare uh, in doing this. Sabi nga ng Panginoon, si the Bible says, Blessed is a man whom the master finds him doing the work. Kaya ito, naging busy tayo. Let's do the work because night is coming. It's already very dark, but Time will come, no one can work, no one can do all this work of the Lord. In, in order to do this, um, the best preparation, the best thing to do is to live, ito, next slide is, to live a denied life. Marami, maraming inggit sa church natin. Now, it is not just bragging our church, uh, but can you imagine, I give it a jaw, huh? This is reality uh, na we need to acknowledge. If kung hindi ganyan ang denied life ng bishop natin, kanilang, kanyang pamilya in serving the Lord, hindi ganun kadedicated ang bishop natin na do or die, our church would not have grown like this. So kung maghanap ka ng example, ng paglingkod sa pangin. Saan ka pa maghanap? Ito. Just follow the examples of our leader. How they serve. Denied life. Your life is not yours. Live for God. Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 28. I remember the bishop always called this. If anyone would come after me. He must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. He who wants to save his life will lose it. And he who want to lo lose his life will find it. What would a man give in exchange for his souls? Kaya equation lang yan. Kung gusto mo, uh, ano, I like yung sinabi niya doon. Some of you who are standing here, uh, sabi pala, for the Son of Man is going to come. <laughs> Kaya tawang tawa ako sa ex, ex emphasis ni Bishop yan. The Son of Man is going to come. 
<laughs> Bakit ba ya ganun ang uh, ginamit doon? Is going to come. Bakit hindi siya? It's coming back. <laughs> But it's going to come. Kasi it's going and coming back. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he will reward each man, each one, according to what he has done. Kaya kahit hindi ka pinapansin sa church, sige, maglingkod ka lang. Puhos mo ang pagmamahal mo sa Panginoon. Even little things, pag-arrange, paglilinis, sige, pagsusuporta. Ang church, sige lang. Sacrifice, sacrifice ka. You will never lose your reward. Some of you who are standing here will not taste death and you'll see the Son of Man coming. Eh, kung si Jesus sinabi niya nun, let's live a denied life. Huwag nang makasarili. Sige, isipin na natin. Parang, let's start to magbabay na tayo dito sa mundo. Prepare. Okay? Our encouragement I give you some encouragement ng uh, mga verses. Ngayon, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29 to 31. What I mean, brothers, is that the time is short. Iwan ko kung meron pang next year. From now on, those who have wives should live as if they have none. Now, explain ko ito kasi baka naman sasabihin mo kung may asawa ka, i-divorce mo na. No, it does not say so. Meaning yung priority mo na huwag mong gamit, gamitin na hadlang ang asawa mo na sa paglilingkod mo sa Panginoon. Kasi generally, ang mga magkipag-asawa ay hati na ang, uh, ex, hati na ang uh, attention paglingkod sa Panginoon at ang pag, uh, sa asawa mo. But, sabi, ang sinasabi dito, ah, kahit may asawa ka, sabihin mo sa asawa mo, maglingkod na tayo, mas maganda, two is better than one. Move, let's serve the Lord. Yan ang ibig sabihin. Huwag mong gamitin ang asawa mo na hadlang at sasabihin, ay, may asawa pa kasi ako eh, kaya hindi ako maglingkod. Ay, sabihin mo sa asawa mo, maglingkod tayo. Yeah. Tingnan mo mga single They are free to serve the Lord. Wala nang asawa na pinag ano pa. That's what it means. Pag single ka, wala kang walang istorbo. Kaya si Pastor Anida dito, sabi niya, adati, awan lumapod club da. Yeah. No hindrance club. Those who mourn as if they did not. Those who are happy as if they were not. Kasi may namatayan na, o oh, kapakala mo, wala na, wala nang mga Kalimutan mo na yan. Go on. That should not affect you. Those who buy something as if it were not theirs to keep. Ay, ay mga sasakyan, kung bibili ka ng sasakyan, hindi lang pang sarili yan, pang outreach yan. Kaya kayong mga may sasakyan dyan, the pastor needs... Bigyan mo sa sasakyan. O, gamitin mo ito sa sasakyan. O, full tank, ha? Mas maganda pa kung todo driver. Para ang pastor, ha? Eh, kahit nakasakay sa sasakyan, nagbabasa ng Biblia. O, niisip yung, ha? Nandyan ka. Pastor, yeah? is thinking. Oh, okay. Then the drive mo, mag-outreach ka. I remember Brother Christian. And all those brothers who are sacrificing their cars for the outreach. No? Merong pang isa na nasa Canada ngayon. Minolunteer niya yung sasakyan niya. Ay! Sabi niya, sabi Bishop. Eh, Sige, use my car. Eh, nagpapasada sa buyagan. Sabi niya, use my car. Eh, pag alis namin sa bagyo, <laughs> nasa tayog kami. Nasira ka agad yung sasakyan. Yeah. Ayun, natulog kami sa uh, Million Star Hotel with many flying demons. <laughs> eh, pagbalik namin, 
Ah, uh, yan. Medyo bumago na yung sasakyan. <laughs> Pero, give it a you. At least meron silang puso na ipagamit ang sasakyan nila. Kaya, ito, pagkaintindi ko dito, those who buy something as if it were not theirs to keep. Hindi lang pang sarili mo yan. Use it for the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who use things of this world as if not engrossed in them for this world in its present form is passing away. If you are looking for a time and a chance and an opportunity to serve God to the max, now is the time, brothers and sisters. Now is the time. Huwag mong sabihin na, ah, next year mo na. Next week. Or, no. Because if you don't do it today, you will never do it anyway. Kaya, let us all prepare for the coming of the Lord. Prepare kung ano ang tatanungin sa iyo sa immigration ng langit. Just read the judgment seat of Christ. That should be our goal, to be pleasing to the Lord and to pass and to, so that sana ma, ma qualify tayo. Even me, as I say this, kaya let us prepare for the Lord, serve the Lord to the max. Hallelujah. Thank you. And uh, I think my time is uh, para hindi ko maagawan ng mga iba. I hope na iniisip na natin pagdating ng Panginoon. Ready pa, ta- ready, ready pa tayo. Ano ang nagawa natin sa ating Panginoon? What did we do? Are we faithful? Holy Spirit, that's why it's good to be praying. It's good to be fasting and praying. Praise God because uh, dito sa last quarter, toka namin dito. Ay, masarap mag-pray. Masarap mag-fast. Hallelujah. Amen. So, that's it for today. Happy convention again, everyone. And may the Lord uh, bless you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Mother. Thank you again, everyone. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise and thanks for this opportunity. Complete the message. Lord. Complete it and prepare us to glory when you come. Oh, God, we thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you, thank you Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.